Hi Leo, here is a general look at your solar chart for March 2013 and at this time of the year, every year, the sun goes into a part of your solar chart which is to do with transitioning. Transitioning from one state of being to another or moving from one stretch of road to another or from one perspective to another. So that's that's what the energies are about and along the way there could be some sensitivities coming up to the surface. Um, but you've got a lot of planetary activity in there as well as the Sun. You've got the Sun and Mercury and Venus and Mars um, all in this area here as well as Neptune actually, the, the very slow moving uh, long transit of Neptune too. So there's a lot going on in this sector here. So up until the 20th you're in this gear shifting phase being a little bit sort of cautious, weighing things up as you go forwards and being more than a little aware maybe of the financial side of things but also of not sort of treading a fine line in on the emotional side of things as well. Could also be around property and uh, you are asking yourself some questions about this, you're squaring up to uh, maybe a home truth or two um, in this area about any of that sort of, ex th those sorts of experiences in your life and uh, maybe stressing out unnecessarily as well, that can be another way um, it works. Uh, but you do have Venus in this area and up until the 22nd Venus will oil the wheels. Venus will help to bring balance and harmony um, where, um, where, where if, if Venus is in, in the mix as well then you can negotiate a better situation, whatever that is. You can be persuasive. Um, you can be um, maybe um, easier in your mind about the financial or the property side of things because there's a support there, there's some kind of bridge there that you can make use of. So channel through the Venus energy, um, uh, uh, play up on the Venus energy. Uh, up until the 12th, in fact, Mar Mars is habit to stir things up wherever he goes and to um, force us into taking some sort of decision and action. So that's not a bad thing. Um, and uh, in this quite sensitive area of your solar chart, um, it can mean that um, you, you can feel quite irritated or frustrated. It's almost like things get bottled up in, inside of you. However, he can make you take action. You know, you do go down the dump with all of that rubbish you've been piling up in the corner for years. Um, and you can take that in a metaphorical way as well. You do clear the decks of what's been worrying you or what's been getting in the way. And, and then that allows the new green shoots to come up. It's almost as though you've got to face the things and then get on with it, you know. Um, but uh, Venus is there to help. Venus is there all the way through until the 22nd and it could mean that somebody is just there to help you out materially to allay your fears and as long as you know you've got that Venus support then you can, on a vibrational level, then that can manifest in a concrete materialistic sort of a way and that person is there somewhere that 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 help is there for you that support that in enabling and facilitating is there and on another level completely uh, with so much uh, activity in this area of your solar chart it can mean quite a sicily time for you know it can mean more involvement in a relationship which is very passionate uh, for some of you so it can be working out like that uh, but there can still be lots of questions going on in your mind also on a sort of professional level it might mean that you and somebody else uh, you know you're having to be careful about stepping on somebody's toes or you feel that you're having your toes stepped on there might be a little bit of a sort of a, a wrangle going on there because you got different ideas to them your bottom line is different to their bottom line but somehow or other you've got to get on to so again, Venus comes to the rescue here because it means that you can find um, a win-win solution. It is possible. It is doable. 
uh, Mercury is going to be staying in this area until mid two uh, sorry mid um, April two thousand and thirteen. Uh, Mercury is very strategic actually. Mercury likes to use the mind and so the Mercury energy channeling, th uh, channeling through you is you researching, you digging, delving, you, you getting, to, getting to the bottom line on something, um, you figuring it out, you getting some insight into the inner workings, you seeing what can be done. Uh, communications, correspondence over the net or whatever in person can become a little bit sort of heated sometimes, a little bit more involved or intense. Intense is the word. But also some thoughts have to be kept confidential so you keep the lid on it. Some feelings have to, you've got to keep the hat on, you know. Um, again, like I say, it's a treading of a fine line here. And really and truly this is a very gut-based area so you should be sensing and feeling your way towards the solutions rather than trying to think it out. Now from the 20th the sun is in a more outgoing expansive area, it's in a fiery area and that's more up your street Leo. You, you start to get you know some distance from these rather introspective thoughts and um, it tends to raise your spirit, it, it speeds up the pace uh, and you get um, a more balanced perspective, you get the overview and uh, definitely this is a good time to get out and about more, to get out of that routine stale, you know, stagnant routine box, to try new things, to, to just uh, walk or drive off or whatever to, into areas they don't usually go, plunge into a territory, whether it's physical, mental, whatever, that you haven't tried before and just refresh your, your palate as it were. Uh, from the 22nd, Venus moves as well, and that means that those at a distance will be, uh, maybe a relationship uh, um, is revolving around a distant place, or a distant place, or a distant place is very much a factor in a relationship. Somebody is far away, somebody um, uh, um, that you that you are communicating with is 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 far away from you, but also it can be that. A relationship is revolving around a sort of um, an educational type environment, or um, 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 uh, you're having a, you you're in in relationship, or that relationship becomes important with a teacher figure, or a mentor figure, or somebody who is um, more knowledgeable uh, and um, whose knowledge you need, and who is willing to give you that knowledge as well. Um, maybe for a price, maybe not, um, I can't say from here, but definitely um, a professional type relationship which is potentially a money making or there's, mo there's money involved um, can be part of a foreign culture, somebody at a distance or in a, in a sort of an academic kind of um, um, advice giving or academic um, arena. Uh, and uh, you're more likely to connect with them because of the knowledge they have or just, you know, just, just that you connect with them. But they do have a knowledge that, that is useful to you. And t turn it around, you have a knowledge and an expertise that is useful to them. You, there's something about what you know and can do which, which, which they are very appreciative of. And you could be looked upon as a teacher or an advice giver or somebody um, who is uh, able to encourage them uh, with your um, wisdom or advice. Now from the 12th, uh, uh, up until the 12th, Mars is also uh, helping you to change gears and yes you will have to let go of some old plan some old agreement or part of it maybe or all of it uh, a standpoint a way of doing something a relationship uh, uh, w whatever it is it could even be you know uh, a place um, uh, and just be um, sensitive uh, feeling a bit sensitive but uh, fi finding the way to go forwards and like I say, for some of you, it could actually be a time when you do get pa quite passionate and involved uh, uh, with somebody and it can be quite a sizzly time for you there. Uh, but the writing on the walls uh, says that this is a time for you not to hesitate to let go of what is now no longer working or irrelevant 
um, and and to make space for the new age, the new time, the new new sh green shoots. And then Mars moves on the 12th into this very ex ex external or extrovert outgoing area uh, where you'll be uh, learning through doing, um, plunging into new territories, uh, getting interested in new things and uh, signing up for a course maybe or traveling. Uh, and some of your physical energy may be needed to, as you push that, that envelope. So maybe you're going to sign up for a Zumba class or um, <laughs> mountain climbing or abseiling or bungee jumping or... No, let's not get too extreme here. But uh, what, what, whatever it is, you know, um, reading stuff that you don't usually read, it could be like that. But definitely a time to launch into new things or, in, or indeed... Um, you you know putting the, uh, beating the drum on, on something and putting it out over a wider stage or into new areas uh, until June uh, Jupiter is helping you to grow and learn through your associations through your group associations through your friendships and definitely your social circle should be growing morphing and growing um, and uh, Jupiter is one of the slower moving outer planets. Be before I say any more about those though, I just want to mention that um, on the 23rd, 24th, there's quite um, an abrupt kind of bit nervy energy around uh, with an aspect to Mars. Uh, it can mean a sudden change or a sudden shift that you weren't expecting. So you just have to hang loose and be flexible about that one. Um, expect the unexpected though. Uh, and try not to be too precipitate or hasty yourself uh, if it's channeling through you that energy. And then um, on the, between the 29th, 30th, 31st, there's another um, aspect coming in affecting the Sun and Venus again. Could uh, there could be some intense moments in a relationship, whether it's a it's a love relationship or or a working relationship. Um, some intense moments there. Um, the money side of things could be involved. Uh, or maybe it's not, but uh, once again, they're um, uh, fi fi you know, finding the level, fi finding finding the natural level is is is, and allowing the natural level to exist. So neither side needs to needs to be feeling hard done by or or out of the loop or what whatever it is, and. Uh, and that's about the only other couple of things to say about the faster moving inner planet. So to get back to Jupiter, um, definitely a time when you will be expanding your mind and your world through who you know and also through um, group gatherings as well. And you, Leo, is born the 30th of July to the 5th of August or with 7 to 13 degrees rising, rising you're going to feel this energy the most uh, this month. And then Saturn... Um, is in this uh, the root of your chart and um, wherever Saturn is we have to work harder it's the opposite to Jupiter it's very contracting and limiting energy <coughs> uh, but it's an energy of building she loves to build so um, you feeling that um, things um, it, around you in a community or a neighborhood or with family need harder work or more responsibility from you and you need to take a on a bit of pressure sometimes because of them or because of the place uh, and feeling something lacking regarding them or the place whether it's the family the neighborhood uh, 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 the actual uh, you know dwelling um, and uh, then uh, going forwards and building new, new things you know step by step brick by brick in that very very uh, foundation level of your chart externally but internally as well this is you actually transitioning now uh, maybe the old way the old uh, affiliations or affinities um, uh, uh, upgrading and updating now and, and you coming into new things from this very very deep level of of, of this, this 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 inside of you where you feel you belong um, Uranus is slowly transiting in a stunningly good angle to your sun sign through a very expansive area of your solar chart. So in general, uh, there, there will be these hops across the board of life, sometimes um, 
a little bit unexpected sometimes intermittent you know you you you're there and then you're not there you're there and then you're not there um, but uh, it's 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 helping you to grow um, giving you knowledge um, um, uh, your familiar way of experiencing the world will change uh, over these these years that uh, Uranus is, is is there and um, uh, yes, it's it's a very positive uh, vibration for you. And you, Leo, is born between the 29th of July and the 2nd of August, or with around about 6 to 10 degrees rising, you're going to feel this energy the most this month. Um, Neptune, as new position, uh, means that the boundaries can be blurred re regarding uh, joint resources, um, inheritance, property, um, another person's possessions or values or priorities that there's a little bit of lack of communication or just missing there somehow or lack uncertainty. Uh, so because that's a Neptunian way, you have to be more firm and sort of almost like mercenary about that area there. Um, another way on another level this works um, is that um, Neptune here can lead to deeper fulfillment in love relationships, in, in connecting with soulmates, and we do have more than one um, in this life. And, um, you know, connecting whatever way is, 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 is within the parameters of what you've got going on and is appropriate. Um, Neptune there can also lead to profound insights into other realms and other dimensions and uh, just a much, much deeper, more profound understanding and connection with the other side and, and spiritual guidance, etc. And you, Leo, is born between the 25th and 28th of July or f with 2 to 5 degrees rising, you're going to feel this energy the most. And Pluto now in Capricorn has been upsetting the apple cart where health is concerned for some of you. It's going to be there until 2024. It's regenerating you from deep levels regarding your health because remember Pluto is the death rebirth and I'm emphasizing and highlighting rebirth. But first of all, we have to die to the old way of the old, the old uh, regime, the old habits, the old style of doing things regarding our health or our work and employment and then getting with what is needed for the rebirth, the green shoots coming up and um, you'll be learning some new skills, you'll be ditching some, or maybe you're just upgrading them um, or you will be learning completely new one but also you'll be learning a new understanding about what your body needs, what's it about what it's about and how it should be treated and what it deserves from you um, as your vehicle which um, you used to navigate through this, these domains. So um, over this long transit there's going to be a letting go of some um, old scenarios uh, related to any of those things and you wanting, feeling very much from your gut that you want control, better control in these areas here. <laughs> A new Leo is born uh, 28th of July or 1st of August or 9th, 9 to 12 degrees rising. You're going to feel this energy the most. Not just control, but mastery. Let's use that word. You want to master the skill. You want to master the knowledge of what your body needs and how to be in optimum health. That, that's, that would fit it better. And um, that's it for March. If you know your rising sign or your moon sign, find, find the forecast for those. And then it'll add to or subtract from what I've said here. And... Um, just take the bits that seem relevant and um, if you've emailed me and I haven't given you an answer yet yet my humble apologies I've been overwhelmed by reading requests this uh, over this last 12 18 months but um, there's also been awful lot going on and I've been spreading myself very thin and haven't been able to do as much as I'd like to so I promise you you will get an answer don't give up you will get an answer um, once again, apologies, and I'll see you the next time.